What is going on, everybody? This is DLoner08, and I am back on the Leech No server, guys. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is episode two, and in this episode, guys, we are going to be moving out to a new place. I did some exploring and found a really, really, really nice place. I found some torches there. I don't know if it's occupied. I put a link or a, a screenshot of it in the discord for people to look at and i haven't got any hits back on it other than it's not my place so hopefully we could get moving out there here soon i'll probably work on that tomorrow once you know, give about 24 hours for everybody to see it and yeah i wanted to show you guys something crazy so my my fish farm i've been afking at it and every time my computer decides to say hey you, you need to get off the server <laughs> i just you know plop back on and go back to afking but this, if you guys have never seen one, this is an automatic fisher. It's just a note block and then an iron trap door on the side of the block like this. Redstone dust, hop underneath, and a water source. And all you have to do is right click on the iron trap door and it just works until something bites. Just like that. Just that quick. I've got a pretty good fishing rod right here. I need to put a uh, luck of the sea 3, you know, another luck of the sea 2 on here. And I've got... I've got a couple of those uh, fishing rods in this chest right here, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the loot that I have so far Just a little bit. This is kind of the the junk out of it. I've already smelted a lot of fish So this is just what's left and then a couple of saddles here And I've got a couple more up top there and This is my books chest and I've got 20 name tags already This is the only one that I have a bad enchant on it Actually, I think I've got another one down here Nope, that's the only one I've got with bad enchant, so that's good. So if I ever need to uh, have Silk Touch, I will i don't know if the binding enchant works on your offhand, like if I put it in my offhand, if it screws everything up, but I have a Silk Touch book. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that sucks that it's got binding on it, but oh well. Uh, put all my good books down here at the bottom. This I'm going to use to get more diamonds. Uh, it sounds a little weird, but in the little guardian temples, like the mini ones, there are diamond blocks down there, and that's probably how I'm going to get most of my diamonds because <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> with <laughs> the how, how scarce diamonds are on the server. Uh, in like two hours of caving, I think I got it was like five or six diamonds, and the rest of this is that and, you know, my tools and my boots were all from just raiding a couple of those little temples. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to use this, and that'll help me out a lot. Uh, looting two. I've got a couple of these books. I can make a looting three. Let's see, there's there's two of them there. Let's put them side by side. Or not. There we go. There we go now. A <laughs> uh, couple. This is here for the unbreaking, feather falling, uh, fortune two, fortune two, and then you know the efficiency since I already have depth strider. And then these are all the like medium enchanted books, and then the kind of poopy books. Yeah, these are all my poopy books. And then I've got a couple of fishing rods. The ones down here have mending. And I might be selling these. And then here's the, the Luck of C2 and then the Lure 3. And then these are the poopy ones up top. And then I've got a couple of bows from this. These are all my mending bows. Uh, I prefer Infinity instead of Mending. Just because I don't want to have to carry around a Kabillion arrows. So, Kabillion is a real number trust me <laughs> and then here's the power and then the poopy bows are up top here you get a lot of poopy bows with this fish farm yeah so i've got a little bit of stuff <laughs> i figured since i do have 46 levels we do some enchanting on camera uh, i'm gonna make a chest plate and pants and well depending on what we get in our pick here i'm gonna i'm gonna wait on that see what do we get if i enchant Ooh, that's really good no thorns just protection gg fire protection sword is a looting two sword let's see efficiency blast protection on boots i'm tempted to do the looting two I've got sharpness books, but I also have looting two books, but this, this will make it cheaper if I don't have to put a looting three book on here. Well, yeah, let's go for it. Just looting two GG game. I've got unbreaking, unbreaking. Um, I 
don't want to do, and I'm breaking on my diamond, so let's do it on here. Fortune 3. GG. That's what I wanted. Uh, let's see if we can... Okay, protection. Just protection. Oh, well, at least I'll be set on protection. Probably should grab another sword. Just in case. Yeah, there's one right here. Just to see what the enchant will be on it. And I don't think I have any books right now. Actually, I should have some paper in here. We should make some books, too. I'm going to grab some leather from my fishing farm. There, there should be plenty. Because, I mean, we can still get some pretty good books from this. Even though I've got you know, quite a bit of books over there. Okay. Book Enchanted Sharpness 3. That's not that important to me right now. Let's go ahead and put this armor on. Sweet. Almost all proc 4. I do have to make a, a helmet, but I'll probably just make a, just a regular iron helmet or use one of the ones that are over there. Ooh, a Silk Touch pick. That is pretty good. I think I'm going to use the diamond for the Silk Touch. Yeah, let's do it. Efficiency and Silk Touch. Okay, I've got a no breaking book I can throw on that. And then let's cycle through here. No. No. Uh, do I have any other diamond gear? Smite three. Probably should make another diamond pick. I'm gonna get efficiency out of it if I do that. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Why not, right? Boom and boom. This will be my last enchant for level thirty. Oh, look at that! I put diamond on here and it drops it down to efficiency three. No, thank you. Not going to get gypped on that. <laughs> so let's do just a poopy enchant. That was a pretty good poopy enchant, just to say. And let's see what we're going to get. Oh, we're going to get fortune two. Now I've got a fortune two book over there. Let's go ahead and do it. And I'm breaking three on that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. And then I've got 27 levels to play around. Let's see. Where was that fortune two? Let's put this on here. And then... This sword, I probably should have made another sword instead of a pick, but oh well. <laughs> I'll be okay. Um, let me see if I've got... I've got a sharpness, smite, sharpness three. I've got a couple of sharp, sharpness three I could put on here. But this is my feather falling, so I don't want to do that. Oh, there's a sharpness. Okay. So I might actually be able to make a, a decent set of gear here. Yeah, let's let's see what we can get away with here. I think that was poopy. Let's see what we can do on my anvil here. So let's work on the sword first. Let's do... We're using this for the fortune, I think. That's for the power. Sharpness 3. I think there was another sharpness 3 that I grabbed, right? Hmm. Sharpness 3, Sharpness 3. Thought I might want to use that for... Well, this will put Fire Aspect on it as well. So let's do that. And let's put it on my sword. It's only 9 levels, that's good. And then... Did I grab the other looting book? No, I did not. Okay, let's grab that other looting book. I'll have another looting two book just sitting around too, so that'll be good. There we go. Oh, only nine more. That's good. That's a decent sword, actually. Sharpness, looting, and fire aspect. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then I want to get this up to fortune. Oh, I need I need four more levels. Dang it. Oh well. <laughs> well, that's that's how to burn forty four levels. <laughs> <laughs> do a little bit of enchanting there. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of gathering because I've got a lot of junk. I need to determine what's important, what's not important. I'll probably do a little bit more fishing because I do want to get a couple of mending books, and they're very scarce right now. Like, I haven't gotten any mending books, which is very sad, but oh well. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm needing some mending because I don't want, you know, any of my picks to run out on me. And I've got this Fortune 3, so I'm not too worried about getting this up to Fortune right now. But I'm going to put my good books over here for, for just a little bit. And let's put that in there. And I could put my poopy armor back in here. But I have a fortune pick now, so if I do find any diamonds, I'll be able to, you know, get them fortuned up. And more freaking fish in here. It's ridiculous. Oh, I've still got... Wow. This is like... I've used almost six of these buckets already. Yeah, that would be the sixth one. Uh, I want the XP from here, so I don't want to, you know, just filter it through. Because I don't have a spawner over here. But, yeah, not that I found yet. But uh, when I was exploring, I did find a, an area over by where I want to move. And there was a spawner down in this, like, underground temple. It was pretty cool. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, convert that over and make something cool out of it. Because I'm not exactly sure what kind of spawner it was. Because it was it's kind of in a scary location, as you guys saw. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get more gathered up. Get ready to move out go exploring some more <laughs> on an adventure <laughs> so uh what i want to do is i want to move north and i think it's a little east east would be that way sorry <laughs> but yeah i want to get i want to get moved out that way and uh get going on that giant mountain it's going to be so cool i'm excited so guys yep i will see you in a little bit okay guys so i was headed back to the other mountain over there uh, the one with all the mushrooms and stuff on it, that was already taken. And I was going to head over to the other one with the big flat face on it. And I saw this mountain here. It's the clay diorite one, but it's so much taller than the other one that I saw. And I really, really like this one. I mean, there's just... I don't know. There's something about it. There's also this, like, glacier over here. I don't know if there's anything inside of that. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's also a village over there, so I can get some villagers. And this little valley here is really nice. The really awesome trees. I, I'm really actually happy for this area. I mean, it's going to be good. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and move in here. There's no signs of life here like at the other place. There was, you know, some torches. and I figured somebody was living out there. Which is okay. It's okay. Not worried. I've just got to get down without dying. Ah, eh, let's go. I've got feather falling on. <laughs> and, uh, you guys see that over there? There's a little castle. I want to go investigate that. That's one of the pre-generated structures, I believe. Was ah Nope. Horse can't jump. Gray horse can't jump. There we go. So, I'll have this little castle close by. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to build up top there or if I'm going to build down here. This would be a nice, big, flat area. Yeah, this would be kind of cool. There's also... I think there's like a pumpkin patch over there. There's some like floaty islands over there. A lot of really cool terrain generation in this area. Uh, let's see if there's a front door in this. I circled it earlier and didn't find one. So I don't know if I'm supposed to just break in. Yeah, let's just, let's just break in. <laughs> breaking and entering. Oh, there's a lot of bad things in here. Uh. Oh. Why is there like a, a really mean dog? What? Okay, there are stairs. Maybe we should try to go up to that level and then see if there's anything. Maybe. My horse is going to get so lost out here. Let's see if we can put a little pit down for my horse because I don't have any leads for him. He's already gone, isn't he? Is that him all the way over there? Yes! Stupid horse! What are you doing? Where are you going? Stay over here, please. Um, see if I can... Master Builder here. 
Yes, I watched the Lego movie. Leave me alone. Yay, we did it. Stay. <laughs> Stupid horse. And I don't have a bed out here, so... I've got other horses. So at least I can get out here quick. Um... I hear skeletons. I hear a lot of bad things. Well, this this goes up. Well, oh, there's a skeleton. Gotta remember to use the shield. <laughs> um, I don't know what's up here. A cauldron, really? Is that the is that the only thing up here? Is a cauldron? Uh, it's just a chest. Oh, baby, a diamond. It's a lot of cool stuff in here, actually. Um, I'm just going to put some of this stuff in here. Because I'm not going to need all of that. I'll take the power drills, though. The rest of that stuff can stay for now. I have plenty of name tags. Is there any more chests? Of course not. Of course not. Okay. I can make a couple of torches. Oh, it's raining. Sweet. Um, okay, here's the bottom. I didn't see an entrance. Um... Really confused about where to go down at. Well, hi, Mr. Skeleton. How are you? Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay, GG. I gotta break these first. Go ahead and plop down here after I kill some of these guys. Oh, it's really dark down here. What do I do with those torches? Oh, hi, Creepy Weepy. Thank you for dying. Oh, hi, Skeleton. Hey, I hit you. Like a boss. Oh, there's another chest down here. Sweet! Um, what was over here? Yeah, I saw a cobweb. Oh, that goes down pretty far. Okay. Hi, zombie. Don't let me on fire. Oh, you did. You jerk face. Another zombie. Oh, whoa, I hit him and he didn't fall back at all. Whoa, that goes down really far. Oh, wow, more iron. That's cool. Let's see what's in this chest. Bunch of gold. I'll just leave it in there for right now. I've got plenty of that kind of stuff. Bring. Hi, doggy. Were you just mad earlier because of reasons? <laughs> I think you might have just been mad earlier because you saw that skeleton. Oh, I see a spawner. Light it up. Um, there's a zombie. Get away from me. Thank you. Oh, ah! Multiplication. Um, ooh. There's some bookshelves. Another spawner. Ooh, so I got a double spawner down here. Oh, that'd be good for some XPs. Okay, they're both definitely in range. Yes. Ooh, fanciness. Leave. Well, I, I guess I can take that. Is there anything around this side? No. Um. Oh, baby! An ender pearl, some books. Oh yeah, some bottles of enchanting. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff down here. 
I want to know what's behind these bookshelves, if there's anything. No, nothing. Um, get out of my life forever. Is there anything behind this one? No, nothing. I, I'm going to take all these books, actually. So apparently, Tiger Spirit's going to go live. You guys can go check her out. I'll remember to put her link in the description. You guys can go over there and follow her. And then when she goes live again, you guys would know. How did you spawn? Did you spawn up there? Yep, these guys are like right on top of each other. Be good to do a double spawner. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff in here. I'm going to go ahead and try to head back up and get back to the place that I was in. I can cover all that up now. And I got to go back down there and get that stuff when I come back, so. Yeah, that was a good little bit of a raid there. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. You guys know about where I'm going to be moving to. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead and build the house in the next episode. So, if you guys can hear me over the rain, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.